I got two steps out of my van and I see this and it's just, I'm gonna be stopping a lot today, I can tell. Oh, that sun is everything. Breathe to remember. I love these trees because they look like Play-Doh, just like clay. We've arrived to another Douglas fir tree on the island. This one's pretty massive and on the map, it was called the Grandmother Douglas Fir. It's amazing. This time, I'm gonna see how many steps it takes to walk around it. Just to measure it a little bit. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 19 steps around this beautiful, amazing, huge tree. Imagine all the animals that provides for and all the ecosystems. I don't want to disrupt somebody's wish, but I am curious. Maybe the tree's speaking to me. If I were to ask you all the things you love, how long would you take it to name yourself? It's a good question. This is definitely the prettiest sunset that I've got to see while on this island. Getting a lot of colors, pinks and blues and orange and yellow. I'm headed back to my van now. Gonna make some dinner and wind down a bit. It's crazy how the colors change so much right until the very last moment. Where the sun is finally set behind the mountains. Didn't see any crazy animals today. Saw one that I wasn't sure about. Kind of looked like a squirrel, but also not exactly. It was playing in the rocks by the beach and it had like a tail like a squirrel. It was brown, but it didn't run like a squirrel. It ran a little bit more like an otter. It looked like a miniature version of an otter, but that's not a thing as far as I'm aware. <laughs> there goes the boat. I can't believe no one's around. 
I haven't seen anyone like for the past couple hours. I would assume everyone would be here today. <laughs> I'm really enjoying exploring on the off tourist season because I hear it gets pretty wild during the summer. So I've discovered a lot of places this January, which has been amazing. And I hope to reach the other side of Vancouver Island, Euclid and Tofino area, maybe in a month or so, and see what that's like on the off tourist season. I am curious on how everything is like during the tourist season, because I hear it's like really fun and really crazy and really, there's just like, I've heard that there's just like a feeling. I haven't been on this point before and it's awesome. It's grassy and rocky and there's so much room for like picnicking or chilling out, like multiple groups of people. Like I love this, how big this part is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just sitting here and admiring the 360 view. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Sunshine Coast recently. So I assume that's a spot that gets a lot more sun than certain coasts do which totally makes sense to me because with mountains and huge trees and stuff, that stuff would totally make a difference. In Ontario, there's no coasts, sunshine coasts, like it's all flat, it all gets the same amount of sun, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, that would be awesome to schedule into my winter rotation, maybe in years coming when I come back to BC. I'm gonna head back home soon and make some dinner in a couple hours. I also have a call with a friend planned, so that's always fun. And that's pretty much gonna be my day. I've been working on this drawing of a sticker actually, of a van sticker. I wanna create a few of them, a few options, and I love illustrating and I would love to sell a sticker, so. I can hear during a hike by the water is an animal coming up for air and that loud breathing noise the with a little bit of splash that is so exciting I can never tell what animal that is exactly it's always a dot in the distance but it keeps like a really intriguing mystery about hiking by the ocean such a lovely day. <laughs> and actually, coincidentally, super sunny day, but there's also a fog advisory. I heard that on the radio this morning and I see it on my app and I maybe can see where that's an issue. There feels like a very desaturated gray spot in the atmosphere over there. While over here, it's like sunshine and blue and blue skies, but over there, I wonder if the fog will travel towards us. Let me show you. It's like really taking over the, those trees and mountains over there. And there's a super clear patch right there. There's no wind, so I feel like maybe it's not traveling, but it is randomly cold this week. We, have, we even have a snow warning in a few days, so we'll see what that's like. I've been spending a few more days alone, so doing that hermit lifestyle again. It's kind of refreshing and really fun. Uh, it's made me get back more into art, which it's been too long. So that's been really fun. Maybe what... <sighs> I heard that breathing noise again. Are you an animal? Speaking of not being able to see in the distance, 
a very kind subscriber named Priscilla sent me a gift card for Mech. She said that she wanted me to buy some binoculars because I mentioned in a video that I wanted some and that is so kind. I'm so surprised and like blown away. So that's a big reason why I want to head to Victoria because there's a Mech, a mountain equipment company, if that's what it's called. And I really want to get some binoculars and be able to see what all this is going on, all these creatures that I can't identify. Uh, thank you, Priscilla, so much for that. And also, thank you to Lisa, who watches my videos, who sent a donation on PayPal. That was really unexpected, really, really kind. The first one I've ever gotten, actually. So it's just been a really, really nice time. So much kindness in the world right now. And I'm like, I want to give it back. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. When it comes to money and stuff like that, I'm on a very <laughs> limited supply, but I'm totally up for getting a job, uh, seasonal work once in a while. I left on really good terms with my last job, but when that happens, I really slack on my YouTube videos and don't post for a few weeks. So of course I would rather be exploring and doing YouTube and just doing art and all that. So that's what those donations are towards and I appreciate it out of this world. Thank you so much, both of you. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea in the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover, and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over. The amount of oysters on this, I don't even know what they are. They're just very like, there's shells everywhere. Some are small, some are big, some are really hard, some are wide open. Looks pretty cool. I love this big, thick blue rope. It looks just like a really pretty color. It's holding up this tire and I think I want to kick it. Also, there's a huge braid over there. What is this world? I feel miniature with all these huge braids and ropes everywhere. Okay, so we have a raft, half of a raft here. I think that's a generator. We got some buoys. Then we got a house. I mean, it's still got a view and a roof. What more could I ask for? Okay, you can only see like half my face, but heading off to find a new spot. I think there's a trailhead just 10 minutes away, so I'm heading there first. Some daylight has just come out. 
so it's time to move. I want to go to a garden supply store to pick up one of those bird seed tin can holder things and I want to try drilling some holes into it and make a fire bin just like Flossie has because it's so quick and easy to just make a fire from that and I'm obsessed so I really want one myself. Thanks for the inspo Flossie. <laughs> found a really awesome Rosemary Clooney playlist and I'm listening to it and it's so good. Perfect hiking music. 10 out of 10 recommend. Now let's keep on inclining. <laughs> First interesting thing to pass by. A very old car that has disintegrated to just bare engines, very rusty. <laughs> Looks pretty cool though. This, when I see rocks form like this, I'm just like, this is natural architecture. This is how a home can be laid out. Just put a roof over this and it's a home. It's so beautiful. It's lower level, upper level, all of it. But I would also want to keep the moss, you know? It's kind of important. These are like fuzzy, fluffy, huge shrooms. This one's broken in half, but... Those are huge, what are they? If they're edible, that would be quite the snack. Just saying. I swear, this is like the walk of dog leashes. I'm gonna add this to the collection that I saw up there. Do you guys see that otter eating on that rock over there? Just eating up a plant. I think I'm just gonna sit here and watch him for a while. He just climbed up that hill, so impressive. Always oh, keeps going, going into the trees, shaking off, getting warm. Do you guys see him? I wonder if the trail goes over there. We'll have to be really quiet on our next journey, but I see him just heading home. I guess, do they live in the forest? I don't know much about otters at all, but now I know they can climb pretty steep rocks pretty easily and look so cute doing it. down there is like an otter's home. I can kind of tell by all these like, you can see a faint path and disturbed ground and stuff. And that'd be a cozy home, just dig in there a little bit. Cause I saw it coming up this way.
Hello, Curious. You got a cute face. Yeah, you are. You smelling me? I like your speckles. Oh, bye. <laughs> I love how curious sea lions are. That is too precious. <laughs> the ducks did not like the otters. There he is. Or maybe it's the seal? I don't know. They were both here. This is just like the best spot. I'm gonna sit here for as long as I can. Look at him go. This tree is Hercules, holding the world. That's a big rock. <laughs> Lots of big rocks, hmm. Made up of a bunch of rocks. in the water. I'm pretty far away from it so it doesn't seem like it, but it is trust. Just walking along this pier at this beach. There's so many washed up boats along here. Many, many. This is probably the best view I've ever had while on a swing. I feel like I could just soar up into the trees, into the water. Good morning, everybody. So I just made it to this little beach and a little park. I um, also filled up gas this morning and did some cleaning. So really, really good to start the day. I'm currently working on uploading a video. We're at 92%, so shouldn't take much longer. And I have some exciting activities planned for today. I'm super excited. So my friend Rose, who I met just the other day, I ran into her at the thrift store while I was in town, and she told me about a silent disco that's happening on this beach. I've never been to a silent disco before, but I've heard of them, and you wear a headset and you dance and you jam out and I'm really uncertain on how it's gonna go but I was like heck yeah I could use some dancing I haven't done dancing in public in such a long time like such a long time like a year I swear so I thought that would be fun. Maybe I'll meet some fun people. I love just going with the flow and finding myself in a new area. And now I can check out my map and see close trails that I might want to check out afterwards. Just trying to say yes to things. <laughs> Just 
just finished the little dance party and it was awesome uh, it brought together like a lot of cool people really chill like free spirits everyone was just doing their own thing having a good time it was really fun to walk along the beach back and forth anywhere uh it was like 300 meters from the the laptop or the the main area and the music mix was really good they hold these also during the full moon so maybe i'll come back for a full moon one where they said they also have campfires and it's later in the day so they hang out later it was definitely exciting to try something new because i've never done that before that was so fun and freeing for a minute you think like is everyone judging me like other people at the park or people driving by or something and i just like took the headphone off for a minute and i just feel like so taken out of the world i feel like i need the headphones and the music for that comfort but it's easy it's really easy to conquer every song it just gets easier and easier to just go with the flow and just feel it more and it got kind of emotional for part of it and i think i learned a few new dance moves so These cows are so fluffy. And look at those big bulls. They're so pointy horned. I love these cows. Are these like Highland something? They're so cute. I'm just gonna sit and watch them. They're all looking at me right now though. So I won't talk too much. Look, I found all these bones. Something quite big. Is that a sheep? I do not know. But all of its vertebrae are there and it's very interesting. With all those teeth and everything. Pretty cool. It looks like it's been there a while. That is wild. Mm -hmm.